folks. Right, we've got a, a lovely, I don't know if it's Georgian, probably Victorian, um, up in Leeds, and I'm going to show you a little bit about, whoops, windy, a little bit about uh, stone and erosion. Now then, what we've got here is obviously the inevitable cement pointing, and you can see that we've got cement strap pointing, and you can see how because moisture is trapped into the stone by this, the stone itself is eroding. And I think if we look, I've been waiting to do this actually, if we, if we take this off, you can see this is moving. There we go. Now, you can see how that joint is actually wet. You can see the, the damp stone there, look, it's actually dark, stone on both sides it's damp and that lime mortar is actually damp and that's just because we've got this horrible cement strap pointing on the surface now there's something else I want to go over when acid rain hits this stone the acid rain contains sulfur dioxide from all the car fumes and that sulfur dioxide attacks the binder in the sandstone. The binder is calcium carbonate, it's calcite. So calcite is attacked and it forms calcium sulfate. If you don't believe me, go back to your chemistry lessons. Now, calcium sulfate is gypsum. Now strangely enough, what we've got here is a flat bit. This here is actually gypsum forming on the surface of the stone. And you can see, as I take that off, that the stone is wet behind it. You can see with a dark shadow, which will dry out rather rapidly. But what we're getting here is acid erosion of stone, which is forming gypsum. And as you all probably know, gypsum traps moisture. So you've got moisture being trapped, the stone then gets cold and you start getting spalling. So acid erosion starts to cause disintegration of the stone and you've got more of it here look. This is actually little sheets of gypsum forming on the surface and you can see if you look closely these little areas and this stuff that I'm scraping is harder than the stone behind. And that's because it is actually a gypsum skim over the top. It's a chemical skim. So we've got stonework here that's getting wet and it's spalling. We've got lovely lime mortar in a joint which we've taken the, 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 the cement off. Look at that. We flick it off and look at the width of the strap pointing versus the original lime mortar. And where we flick it off, we can see that moisture has been trying to get out of the, the lime work it can't get out through the lime so it gets out around the cement and so again you're getting soft stonework and that soft stonework is soft because moisture is trying to get out of the, out of the wall and it's ending up coming out through the stone which is absolutely what you don't want so what we're going to do is we're just going to flick all this stuff off and we might need to do just a tiny bit of repointing. There's, to be honest, I don't think we need to do much at all. But you might get the odd little spot here, like there, um, where we need to do a little bit of spot repointing in lime, uh, just to stop penetrating rain getting into the wall. So there we go. Quick little lesson on a, a lovely stone wall building. Um, you might ask, why is there a bit more erosion? It doesn't look so bad up there. And yet down here, there's a wee bit more going on. And that is because the base of the wall is always the coldest part of the wall. If it's cold down the bottom, you get more condensation because don't forget, temperature equals condensation. You get moist air transferring itself through the stonework. And if the air is moist and it's cold, it condenses within the stone. Um, that then evaporates, so we get a greater rate of evaporation close to the bottom of the wall. Uh, and it's all to do with temperature. Um, and that is what rising damp's all about. 
nothing to do with rising damp. It's temperature, moisture being trapped into the wall, and then in this case, it's trying to evaporate through the stone and breaking the stone up. So there you go, a little, little bit of a chemistry lesson and a bit of uh, what to do. And of course, what do we do with this stonework? There's not a lot we can do other than just repoint it in lime. Clean it off and uh, anywhere where you see a little bit of breakup, uh, gypsum coating on it, I tend to just go round every so often. Um, I mean, in this case, you know, there's a bit of gypsum built up here. Or well, when you're cleaning the pointing and getting the cement off, I would actually just scrape the, the gypsum so that it's not trapping, like in this case. Uh, if we leave that gypsum on, then the stone, you can see the stone's quite wet behind it where I scrape it off. Uh, it does a lot more damage than people realise. So just get it off and then the stone will keep going for a long, long time. So there you go. Sort of, uh, this is John, <laughs> my latest recruit. He's on the team now. And, and, and yeah, that's damp sniffer dog. That's certainly, so there we go. Back to the house, we'll go and sort that house again there. Oh, and lots of good ventilation here. We've got good subfloor ventilation for a change. So uh, we don't have rotten floors.